Trump was the wrong man for the job. I realize now, two years later, all of the January 6th insurrection leads me to the conclusion that he's not just the wrong man for the job, but he's dangerous. And he is a threat to democracy. That was veteran Washington Post reporter Bob Woodward discussing the former president with John Dickerson on CBS Sunday Morning. Woodward is releasing a new audiobook called The Trump Tapes, which contains all 20 of his one-on-one -on -one interviews with Mr. Trump. And CBS News chief political analyst and senior national correspondent John Dickerson joins me now. Hey, John, good to see you. That was a really fascinating interview. I'm wondering what stood out to you from these tapes. Well, what stands out is you get a sense of the pace and rhythm and uh, clockworks of former President Trump's mind. Um, and that's different than reading it on the page or having someone tell you about it or hearing him at a rally. This is a kind of talking and a way of thinking and talking that President Trump um, didn't engage in or that we didn't hear much. Uh, and then also it's a map of the presidency uh, because a lot of the things we take for granted in the presidency Donald Trump didn't take for granted. And so it is a way of looking at the office through this very different kind of occupant uh, that was in it for four years in the Trump administration. Yeah, John, I thought it was really interesting when you kind of pointed this out with Bob Woodward that Trump seemed to see the presidency as a possession. He saw it as a possession. And on the one hand, that was one of his great strengths to the extent that the job of the presidency matched up with his sense of himself and what he thought he was good at. Uh, but the presidency is a much more vast office than that. And that is where Woodward argues it comes into such conflict with the singular personal focus of Donald Trump, that you cannot run a presidency as a singular thing. It's a, it's a job that it's an organization. The presidency is an act of teamwork. And Donald Trump doesn't think that way. And that is, according to Woodward, a fatal flaw. And what you hear in these tapes is Woodward constantly trying to get former President Trump to reckon with that idea that the presidency is not a New York real estate deal. It mm. is sometimes, but in a very narrow sense. And every other time when it's not like a New York real estate deal, it creates challenges that a president has to meet. And President Trump just refused to accept those challenges. And just quickly, John, I'm wondering if you could kind of put this into context. Um, this was a president, of course, that spoke a lot of what was on his mind in real time. But what does this mean? What will be the consequence? I think the consequence <laughs> is just a different view into the Trump presidency that uh, people didn't get before. Um, and that's valuable because he not only had an exciting presidency of four years that challenged the very heart of American democracy, and that has grown past him, Trump himself. There is now Trumpism, which exists. But he also uh, threatened the office of the presidency in a, in a lot of ways. Uh, and as we study former President Trump, we're also studying the presidency and how resilient it may or may not be. All right, John Dickerson, thank you very much. Excuse my coughing fit at the end here. That's all right. I do uh, that to lots of people. <laughs> And that does it for today. You can stream Red and Blue Monday through Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern. And a reminder, if you want to watch previous episodes of the program, you can see them anytime on the CBS News website. Just head to cbsnews.com slash red and blue.